Welcome back. You must be a glutton for punishment, but because here you are watching another one. Today I'm tying uh, my Spectra shrimp. I use this in the bays in San Diego, California, and it's a great all-around shrimp pattern. So like all of our other patterns, we're going to start by wrapping some thread around the hook of the shank. And for this, I'm going to put a little bit of super glue and position the fish skull shrimp tail. I'm using a medium here, and if you need some more weight, you could definitely use some lead dumbbell eyes or some tungsten dumbbell eyes. I just like the way the shrimp tail kind of looks. It kind of finishes out the pattern. So after super gluing it, we're going to put a lot of thread down, make sure it's secure and doesn't slick. Then we're going to take the thread down the hook and about a quarter way up the bend, we're going to tie in some spectra dubbing. This forms the mouth of the fly and kind of serves as some flash as well. Next, we're going to go ahead and make sure it's secure, pull off the little excess dubbing, and then we're going to add a little bit of an egg sac. So this is a, a hot spot for a shrimp and just adds as another cue for the fish to go, hey, this is something that I want to eat, kind of like us and a nice pizza. So what I have here is some 30 pound mono that I burnt the ends of and I put some UV resin on there and a little nail polish. And that's how you can make your own eyes or you can buy them. These ha naturally have a curve to them and I want the curve to go out so the eyes splay out. And once you got them on loosely, you know, you can adjust them as needed and then bind them down. And I'll take this all the way back to just before the end of the shrimp tail and nip it off. So now I got a nice, nice smooth body come back, really lock them down. And you can see I'm holding the eyes down so that they don't roll or pop up on me. Add a little bit more dubbing. And because of the curve of the shank, these eyes will sit up where they're supposed to be for a shrimp. Now we're gonna add the antenna or the legs. And you know, I do this with a couple wraps. And then I use one hand and I splay the legs out and I wrap slowly up and this really keeps the legs on both sides of the fly and make sure that they don't end up on the bottom or rolling over. Now I need some ribbing so I'm going to tie in some eight pound mono and this is the cheap stuff you have lying around or you pulled it off your bath spool. Just something that's not the good fluorocarbon that you would use to fish with because you don't need it in this fly. Now I'm tying in the shell back. This will form the the body of the fly or the covering over the body of the fly and it gets a little finky to work with. So just pull it back, get it nice and bound down and we're going to take the thread all the way up to where we stop tying in the legs of the antenna. Now we're going to do a dubbing loop to put in the body dubbing. And the body dubbing is the same as the mouth dubbing, which is the hand spectra in the light pink. And you want to put a fair amount into this dubbing loop. And I use the dubbing loop because it'll allow the dubbing to, to come out and still be bound in and form the legs or the little legs of the shrimp and makes a really nice fly. Spin your bobbin a bunch of times to get it nice and tight. And then we're going to wrap the body. And shrimp have a little bit of a taper to them. So I like to make it a little bit heavier towards the top and kind of spread it out a little bit more as you get towards that tail. And that will give a little bit of a taper. As you can see, the dubbing loop really gives those nice legs that the shrimp have. So my, my legs kind of fell out as I reached for my rib. So reattach them to the clip. And now I'm going to pull over the abdomen cover. And to do this, you just gotta do it loose, loosely, get that first wrap in there, and then you can pull it tight and adjust it. And as you wrap it, you wanna stroke down the fibers so they don't get caught in and pulled over the top of the fly. And the segment segmentation that you get from the mono and over the shell back is pretty cool. It's subtle, but it's definitely noticeable. Now we're gonna take it and tie it off, couple turns around the base, and we can come in and you can cut this in a V. I just cut it straight across with my scissors and it just kind of folds over and sits on top of the egg sac. Come in and cut off the rest of the monofilament and then we're gonna do a whip finish around the eyelet. And you'll notice I'm doing it around there and not around the whole fly. I find that this just gives a better 
attachment and we're gonna put some UV resin over it anyways. So here we're using some bone dry because it dries really hard and it's not sticky. Hit it with the torch and this fly is just about done. Go ahead and cut the legs to your desired length. Brush out the fly and, and fish. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you give it a try.